Hello everyone, my name is Loco, and it is time for a little bit of Ebther action. Let's just change GLHF to our opponents, but look at this guy. Look at this amazing little dude right here with his Zork pajamas. It is going to be Pajama Der Ebther, which actually went on sale this week. And I had a very hard time resisting the urge to buy him, even though I haven't played this hero in months. But anyways, first thought we're gonna pick is gonna be Pressurized Glance. I will go over all of the abilities and go over all of the, um, you know, fine little nifty details that are relevant to Mr. Abathur. He's actually really fun to play. He's a very, very cool hero, but for whatever reason, I, uh, I stopped playing him after they nerfed him literally forever ago. Let's have a, a quick look at the, yeah, problems on the opposing team. Nothing too scary. We can just do whatever the fuck we please. Pretty nice. Alright, so Abathur, what is Abathur all about? You may have already guessed, I actually cannot do very much by myself at all. I cannot fight, I cannot do anything. Um, the only thing I'm good at is symbioting. And symbioting is this scenario right here. Basically what happens is you, you basically sit on top of, a, of an ally or an opponent, or of an ally rather, and you will be able to symbiote them and have a couple of like sweet little moves uh, that make you a little bit more powerful. So basically I'm constantly trying to have a look at who I should symbiote, and obviously there's a lot of melee potential on our team, which is nice. Um, and basically you sit on that, that person that is uh, being symbioted and you do damage that way. You get three new abilities, we get stab, we get a way to actually do a little bit of AoE damage. But on top of that we can also, you know, give a shield as you can see right there. Uh, so I'm giving him a bit of a shield, make sure that he stays alive. Uh, and that's what Abathur is all about. Now I can do that with wherever, you know, wherever I'm located. So right now, for example, I'm right here on, you know, on, uh, on Tigus. And it allows Tigus to be a whole lot more tanky than he would usually be. Now on top of that I have these mine things that I can put down. So, um... The mines are obviously used. Well, here we go. Yeah, we should be we should be at the top lane. The, the golem spawns here. Fair enough. Um, anyways, I'm, I'm nuking up this little area here. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. Alright, oh, I can put down these mine things. And the mines um, really are very useful. Wow. Desodar is uh, taking a massive risk here. Sadly, he's not being able to get hit. Um, but the mines basically explode if someone wants to... Uh, or if someone walks onto them. And there's a big chance that people will walk onto them in second. You can actually make use of them, uh, but most of the time you just have them for mainly vision. But once again, I'm in the lane where, you know, I'm most needed. Wherever I'm most needed. I'm likely going to be sitting in the top lane for the most part, because my passive basically uh, dictates that I will get, like, a little, um... I'm going to have a quick look around here. Oh god, that was a, a risky move, sir. Um, I'm just, I'm just looking around right now, but... I can basically dictate where my little, you know, little, um... What's it called? The little locust thingy that, that basically spawns every couple of seconds. Um, I can I can dictate where that goes because it always goes in the closest lane. Well, sadly, I won't be able to switch over to IR person there in time. Um, the obvious the obvious reason for that is that Symbio takes a couple of seconds to actually get in or like get activated. Um, so this is all fine. This is all fine. Just making sure I'm still walking around here. All right, just trying to dish out the damage here. He's obviously very exposed here, and he probably should have just left. Uh, but at least I can try and keep him alive, potentially. No, that's not gonna happen. I don't have that much healing, I'm afraid. Well, I can do a little bit of splash, it's not that huge. Alright. So I'm just trying to be in the lane that is most important. Gonna go with the Adrenal Overload here. Uh, so you guys get, uh, or my allies get a little bit of attack speed. Or a movement speed as soon as I, uh, you know, use, uh, use one of the abilities. But it's fine. Um, Alright, here we go. So they are uh, getting a bunch of extra movement speed right now, just making sure that I sit on Johanna. I mean, Johanna is always in the thick of things, so she's one of the best targets. Um, oftentimes, you know, if there's an Illidan on the opposing team as well, that's a beautiful place to be at. Uh, and I'm just trying to land all of my skill shots. I'm just trying to make sure that she's, uh, you know, safe, at the very least. I should probably switch over here to Kerrigan, but like I mentioned, it takes a couple of seconds to move over. Uh, but this is fine. I'm gonna be tunneling towards the bottom lane here. Uh, basically makes me move over, and that way I can start pushing this lane as well. So we should be okay here. Yeah, we should, we should. Uh, I'm in the meanwhile, in, or in the meantime, in the other lane right now to make sure that we get some extra experience going as well. Um, so... Oh, I didn't notice. Well, there we go. Did manage to get the final hit on him, which is nice. Alright, so whenever I basically go off of an enemy hero, right, I, um... I have a couple of seconds cooldown on the symbiote, and that's what makes it really difficult. Like, you need to judge whether or not, you know, I can help out IR person right here to make sure that he takes the siege camp, or the bruiser camp, rather. Oh no, it is a siege camp. Or if I'm actually needed somewhere else and would be a lot more useful in that lane. It's always a little bit tricky to say. Anyways, gonna be tunneling to the top lane right now because my team is on, uh, 
you know, on the other end. That way uh, we will still be able to push forward, even though... Oh, he's way too far back. Uh, even though um, the Golem is, um, you know, pushing here, we can still get these a uh, little bit of extra experience going. Once again, gonna be sitting on Johanna right here, knowing that she's always in the middle of things. Like, this hero is great in combination with... Um, that was a nice, cute little move there. But this hero is great, um, especially with, like, an Illidan, because, you know, Illidan can definitely go to town past, like, level 16 in most of the games. And, um, yeah, it really does give you a crazy amount of extra damage and survivability, mostly, which is something that uh, Illidan can easily lack. So, you see him, uh, you see this hero quite often in, in, you know, different kinds of compositions. Won't be able to kill that, though, sadly. Gotta watch out. Uh, because, hey, there's, uh, you know, all kinds of heroes here. Now, obviously, because I am super weak in uh, in most uh, in most scenarios... Oh, wow. <laughs> the kill right there. Uh, because I'm super weak in most scenarios, I have to keep in mind that I can't just, you know, be be everywhere at once, right? Like, I have to, I have to make a decision where I want to be at. That's kind of what's tricky right now. So, even though there's a fight going on at the top lane right now, I did decide to do a little bit of extra XP gathering in the top lane right now, just to, uh, you know, ensure that extra experience, and that way we should be able to hit level 10 before them. Okay, it's looking alright though. I uh, can also definitely jump on um, Garrigan, if it's necessary. Mm. Alright, alright. Well, I'll, I'll just go on... Uh, on Johanna once more. Johanna is always in there. Johanna is always in the thick of things. Uh, I did go, by the way, for um, the other talent right there. This one, uh, Needle Spine. Basically, it increases the damage of my Q ability whenever I am in the symbiote mode. Oh god. Woo! I did get attacked. Now, I can also symbiote towers, by the way. Something, uh, something that's pretty important to note as well. A lot of people don't realize it. Um, but it does make a pretty, pretty substantial change. Very nice. We'll be able to pick that one off right there as well. Very good. Very good. Enter both boys. It's probably smarter. Probably much smarter. I'm gonna be tunneling to the top once again. Make sure that there's a little bit of extra pressure in that lane. Which is, um, you know, gonna allow us a little bit more. Gonna be sitting once again on this guy. And we're gonna go for the Evolve Monstrosity, which allows me to push even harder. Gonna do a little bit of damage here. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this in time. Well, alright, I'll just symbiote the thing right now. Let's get back into this. I am right now on Kerrigan, but Kerrigan is not realizing it. Which is fine. The uh, monstrosity, by the way, is gonna be pushing. This is one of the uh, rogues that I got. It's a very nice split push potential because, you know, you get a crazy amount of, um, of siege damage from that one for the most part. I can also symbiote on it, and that way I will be able to control it. Uh, but this should still be fine, just like this. Alright, I'm dealing a little bit of damage. Come here. Oh, okay, it's fine. We're gonna control... Um, Oh my god, yeah. We're gonna control the, uh, this guy right here. Deal a little bit of extra damage, make sure that we don't tank all of the damage from the tower. Alright, nice. So I'm just focusing a lot on Symbiote in this game. Uh, I know that you can focus on, like, uh, a lot of the needles as well and whatnot, but I think this is a little bit smarter. Obviously, there's a bit of, uh, bit of a damage problem going on right now in the bottom lane, which is annoying. But, yeah, it looks like the Symbiote will end up falling here, just dealing whatever damage I can. Trying to get back into it, but won't be able to go there. Gotta go to the bottom lane right now. But that was nice, though. We almost got that tower. Okay, the mule is here, but I think it's a little late. I think it's a little too late. Won't be able to keep it alive. Woo! So close! Oh my god, the tower, the fort stayed alive. Wow! Alright. There's a combined power right there of the mule and this thing. <laughs> Alright, our person, once again, trying to go for the kill. Oh! Come on! Oh, <laughs> so close. So, so incredibly close. But anyways, that thing will definitely be killing the fort right now. And if you have a quick look, you can see the siege damage and the hero damage are relatively easy to top. Alright, sitting on the tower right now, trying to get that extra, you know, extra healing going. And I'm um, using my, uh, my carapace ability, which is my Q, you know, to try and achieve exactly that. Come on now. It is gonna end up falling. You know, the golem that is. We can do some crazy shielding here with uh, with Tassadar, the mule, and then uh, and then uh, this hero that I'm playing here as well. Uh, you can, by the way, symbiote in the bush as well, or uh, you know, just stand in the bush. Obviously, it will give you a little bit of maneuverability. Uh, I'm just gonna use it for scouting for now. 
Alright. Right now I'm in the top lane once more. And uh, just trying to figure out who I want to go on. But it's going quite well. Hero damage wise, it's actually funny how you can top the damage, even though there's a Kerrigan on your team and a Tigers as well and whatnot, right? Usually you definitely don't see, uh, see these sort of scenarios. It's all about the positioning. Okay. Gotta be careful. Ter uh, Kerrigan seems to play uh, a little bit safer than she should. Oh, we do have a monstrosity once again. I'm gonna use the monstrosity right when the um, when the thing spawns, I think. Uh, but this time around, I'm gonna do it at the bottom lane. Um, it was good. <clears throat> yeah, it seems to be a little confused. All right, let's evolve the monstrosity. Should be okay here. Um, I actually was hoping that the towers would already spawn again. Hold on, let me make sure that he doesn't just uh, that they don't just blow up this thing. All right, I think the uh, I think the mines will be opening shortly. I may have wasted a bit of my monstrosity here. It's not good, not really necessary either. Obviously, you want to try and get into the middle of things. By the way, when you're on the uh, on the monstrosity, so you can use the spike lance most efficiently. And that's by the way a tip for as well for if you're you know playing against this sort of stuff. Wow, he actually went for the. Uh, Huh, did you see that? That was insane. He actually went for the Possess right there. Which is a very interesting ability. I haven't really seen it too often. Alright. And she's actually overextending pretty badly. Okay. Gotta make sure that I obviously do stick around here. Mines are opening shortly. Monstrosity once again going to town. Uh, I think we're fine. We should be fine here. I'm gonna sit at the top lane, there's a little bit of pressure right there. I will be able to defend that. Okay. Kerrigan. Kerrigan, you can go in. Kerrigan, just jump in, dude. You don't need the fucking watchtower right now, it's really not relevant in this team fight. Kerrigan, just move! Please just go in, just jump! You have your Q ability, go! Jump, jump, jump! There we go, that's good, that's it. Nice. <laughs> Alright. So we can definitely go mines right now. Uh, I'm gonna start moving in here for a second. Just make sure that we, uh, you know, deal with these guys. Um, they are mostly dead right now, so this is fine. Okay. All good. Okay, just waiting a second right now. Don't really want to move in, obviously, for no reason. Okay, he actually needs help. Okay, he does get that little bit of movement speed as well, which is very, very nice. And he stays alive. At least for now. Don't know if I agree with this. Ugh. Well, this is fine. Just go kill Falstad then. Dude, I'm not gonna sit on you for all game though. Because you're not a very good target to sit on. Dude. <laughs> you're missing every ability. Alright. Go get him! Get him! Use your Q! You should jump! You got your dive thing! Come on now! Jump! Jump! <laughs> Alright, fair enough. She got him anyway. Okay, very nice. Once again, gonna be activating the monstrosity. Make sure we get the damage going. And I'll just make sure that I help her out as well. The killing in this thing. Uh, next title we're gonna be going for is once again, um, you know, the uh, the upgrade right there. On the Q or on the W ability, it's very useful. There's a lot of damage and yeah, all around it's just very good. Gotta be a little careful here. Okay, they're gonna be pushing right now with the golem. Uh, which means I don't really have to worry too much about this sort of stuff. There is gonna be a mule falling right now. You should probably go top, guys. You should probably go top. Alright, we're pushing and then we all go bolt. That, that makes perfect sense. Uh. Alright, go top. We don't need defending, boys. We don't really need defending here. This is all fine. <clears throat> okay. Okay, I'm sitting right now on Kerrigan. Or on uh, on uh, Johanna right here. And most of the time you just want to be annoying here. I'm actually going to switch to Kerrigan because Kerrigan is way weaker. Okay. Just make sure they're all slowed down. Missing my Q ability like a boss. God, that was way too aggressive by her. Okay. 
Johanna generally doesn't die though, but I mean 4v1 I guess is a little much. They're all move they're all slowed though. This is fine. Well, I don't think you should go in. I don't think she should go in like that. That sounds like a really bad idea. Alright. The falling sword here. Well, no, she's not gonna win this. I don't think she's realizing that I'm sitting on this. <laughs> nice. Okay, once again, uh, got it. Good job. And that uh, that tower actually stayed alive as well. Gonna be pushing the monstrosity in the bot lane this time around. Alright, and helping out Tigers here. To make sure that he stays alive while this uh, scenario is happening. He's likely gonna go backing, or he's likely gonna go back after this anyway. He's gonna use his ult here? Oh my god, that's a waste. That's absolutely unnecessary. But whatever. I guess it will kill stuff really fast, right? So there's that. Okay. Let's get on the monstrosity. Oh wow, I actually misclicked here. I meant to go on the monstrosity. Well, that's the monstrosity dead, I'm afraid. Yep. I could have done, uh, I could have done that. Could have done that way better. I probably should have waited actually as well. But it's fine. Make sure we get a little bit more siege damage going here, since there's nothing really going on in the meantime. Probably should have symbioted the guy in the front just to get the maximum amount of spread, I suppose, but this is fine. And it looks like Johanna actually lagged out, which is unfortunate. Okay. Very nice. Oh no, he's gonna go down. I'm sorry, I can't do very much there. Making sure I put down my mines. And once again, Johanna is fighting, even though I'm symbioted here. Which is a massive risk for her. If I can get my range in of the Q ability, she will get stopped, but... You know, unstoppable is pretty powerful. Uh, I'm gonna be moving on over here. Make sure I push a little bit harder that way. Tunnel over here. Obviously risky, but I don't think they will find me anytime soon. This is looking great, though. Okay. Just practicing my skill shots here. Haha, <laughs> dang it. I missed one. Alright. Don't know exactly what the plan is right now. Obviously, Johanna is pinged by an ally right now, right? To uh, ensure that she still deals some damage. This is looking, this is looking okay though. We're pretty far ahead, obviously. You know, we're actually topping uh, both Siege. Oh, not, not hero damage anymore, but... Get out of here, Johanna! Johanna, no, don't go Tom to me! Oh my god, I thought for a second she was gonna move towards me. But Johanna doesn't die. We all know that. Alright. Feels like a bit of a risk to be here, but... Fair enough. Evolve the monstrosity. Yeah, this is really silly. Oh, I don't think I will be able to deal with this. Just leave, dude! Where are you going? Oh well, he will die. I mean, it's not too bad. Could have been way worse. And it looks like, uh, well, not yet. Get to get to real, dude! Oh. Alright, nice. Very, very good. Alright, time to get back onto the, the monstrosity. Dish out the damage with this thing. Start pushing in these towers as well. Get to level 20 real quick. Boom, level 20. <laughs> okay, not yet. We need one more. There we go. Uh, we're gonna be going here for uh, Symbiote 2 targets, I think? Hive Mind? I haven't actually used this one in a very long time. Um, so basically, I can like Symbiote twice. Alright, well, you know, the Symbiote goes off twice. It's very nice. Let's make sure that I stay out of range right now. Let's keep pushing in. Okay, I'll just let it go. Just let it rip, boys. Just let it rip. <clears throat> yeah, so basically what this one does, casting symbiote creates an additional symbiote. Which is obviously very nice. We're gonna get uh get out of here. No, 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 no! Oh man, no! No! <laughs> They finally found me after sitting there for like half of the game. So I do end up falling once. I almost got her, she walked into my mind trap. But sadly it got a little bit too far. Uh, I actually am dead right now for a full minute, which is not ideal. But it gives us a little bit of time right now to talk, uh, you know, the siege damage wise. You can see, siege damage is pretty insane. Hero damage, we're actually second in this game as well, just being toppled by uh, Kerrigan actually. But XP contribution, whenever you play these type of heroes, you know, like the uh, Lost Vikings as well. It's pretty insane. Like, it's really, really, really straightforward. 
All right, so the keep is definitely gonna fall. But yeah, that CT damage definitely comes from um, from this from the uh, monstrosity mostly. You can also go ahead and pick the ultimate evolution at ten, which is very useful as well. Uh, but this one uh, casting symbiote basically creates an extra symbiote nearby the allied hero. So I do need to cast on the hero if I can. But yeah. Okay. Certainly, it's gonna only be useful, obviously, at team fights, but. Let's try and dish out the damage now. Okay. Gotta make sure that I evolve a monstrosity here. Have it moving forward. And here we go. Getting double of the symbiotes going right now. And we dish ridiculous amounts of damage. The other thing is coming in right now as well the monstrosity joining in the party. And we will be able to get the victory. So, definitely a very, very fun hero to play. Very great if you are, you know, interested in playing weird, weird roles. You can easily, easily top hero damage and, and siege damage. You know, mostly siege damage. Hero damage is a little tough if you're playing with good players. But I've, I've had it multiple times happening. And we actually got the, uh, the event quest complete as well. Um, but definitely very fun little hero. In total, I went down once. We had 16 takedowns, 98,000 siege damage, 30,000 hero damage, and 15,000 XP contribution. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button down below as well, so you'll get a notification when I upload another video. I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, and I'll see you in the next one.